Hi, I'm Bruce Schwartz, everyone. I want to thank you all for the ongoing support to this channel and for connecting with me, everyone. This is the surface of the moon on August 20th, 2018. This is not the moon. <laughs> this is a star or a deep sky object that was east far enough off from the moon. Of course, clouds started roaming over the moon and I decided to start zooming up on some stars and deep sky objects as I promised many of you that I would be doing. Always beautiful seeing the colors of these objects, the galaxies, the nebulae. People laugh. Listen guys, do you know how many galaxies are out there? You know that this is what they look like, right? As our solar system looks like this. I mean, when you're zoomed out, the light, the array of lights that's going all around the um, these deep sky objects are just incredible. And this is how we see them from far. And of course, Zooming up with the telescope, this object was far. I couldn't get it more into focus than that, that's for sure. Look what's going around it. We can see the circular motion of the many stars, moons, and other galaxies, and whatever's out there, guys. There, you know, there's so much out there. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's not long. I just wanted to put it in here. I got it just before looking at the surface of the moon and. Um, of course, like I said, waiting for those darn clouds to roll by. I didn't get a lot of footage uh, last night on the 20th, but I got some really spectacular footage though. Of course, we're following that line of light where the light and the darkness are on the surface of the moon. They are, um, that line of light is revealing to us many details um, of everything, the topography of the surface, no matter what's there, structures, objects, or craters, or whatever you want to call them, they're being revealed. Right, so let's talk lunar waves. I mean, I wasn't even going to post it, but hey, um, I'm not going to let this go by. Uh, Crow 777 got, caught the lunar wave. Well, right there where you see that arrow is Slavius Crater, and you're going to keep your eyes there. We're going to zoom in. And we're going to see three lunar waves. I'm not going to put an arrow for the third one because it was small. You'll see it after the two I put arrows up for. The two lunar waves. So why am I saying this is a lunar wave? I don't care about what some of the trolls are going to say. We're not here to waste our time. I'm here to show the world the truth. And if I can even um, help Crow777 get more proof and validate the fact that these lunar waves exist, uh, I'm all for it. Watch now. There's an arrow up. Do you see how the wave is moving from left to right? It's upside down, so it's really right to left, but bear with me. From left to right, we see it moving. Now watch this one, a second one. Now hang on before you jump the gun. I know what, I, I can only imagine what some of you are gonna say. Here's the third one. I, it's just going by, it's a smaller wave. It's the end of a ripple of waves. But now here's the thing. It's not gonna be seen anymore in this footage. The whole time it's going up to the edge of the surface, uh, sorry, to the edge of the moon, which is the edge of the light and darkness, we're not going to see that wave ever again. It went by and it's not going to go by anymore. I think there's the last one, the ripple, and we don't see it anymore. So now listen clearly, because I know some of you don't. Listen to what I am saying. Those three waves that you just saw, but the two that were apparent. So we'll say the two waves that you just saw are not reappearing. They're not coming back over. And I'm just saying that those two waves are different to the oscillation we are looking at on the surface. I don't see a full entire wave go by like that. It was more compressed, looked like a physical form. I always mention that the oscillation, each time I go up with my telescope is always basically similar but never always the same uh, I've never seen a lunar wave go across and of course even though it's not across the whole moon like we saw in Crow 777's video it's still pretty amazing to see the differences in them because this is what I'm trying to see why would there even be a wave like that so this is footage from August 20th 2018 guys thanks so much for stopping by for taking the time to check out the research and for connecting with me and those who are sharing, contributing, or just stopping by. You know, I have many of you uh, commented this week and uh, this morning in the comments when I went out, went through them that you don't all have time to comment, and that's okay. Just the fact that you're stopping by is encouraging just in itself, and thanks for the support. So, yeah, let's get into it. This is August 20th live footage. I have the 18th footage 
the 19th and the 20th we have to look through and guess what next video maybe I'll get it up because there's a lot we have to show here on August 18th I don't know if any of you were doing telescope live viewing but the moon must have been without exaggerating three times closer than it usually is and the next day on the 19th it was just so far away I don't know if you guys noticed the contrast of that the difference that the 18th the moon was very close if maybe you guys have noticed it in your photography or however you have noticed it if you have uh, you know let me know and uh, tell me in the comments thanks And these are the beginning of the clouds coming over. But do you see how it's similar to what I just showed you? That wave going from right to left on the moon. And of course, we were upside down. We saw from left to right. But do you see how the similarities and how people are mixing things up? You know, we have a hard time communicating us all together. But the worst of it is that most of the things that we're seeing have many similarities. So. We'll see an asteroid, people say, oh, it's a meteor. People say, oh, it's a comet. People say, oh, it's just a flash of light. And in reality, you, some of you are getting mad at me and I'm the one that's telling you that there are flashes of light on the surface. And of course, the light that we saw yesterday was definitely, so long me, a type of explosion. Why? Because it was a mile wide? We're seeing things smaller. When you see something on the surface of the moon, and like the wave that we just saw at the beginning over Clavius Crater, for Pete's sakes, it's hundreds of miles wide what we just saw go by. And it was a straight line and a very similar type of lunar wave. I'm trying to show as many differences as I can, every type of little silly things for many that some might think is very silly, but some might be very interested in it. For example, it's analyzing the simple things. Heard a very intelligent Buddhist told me one day, in person, when you walk into a room, what do you analyze? I said, well, I analyze a lot. I'm very wise, I analyze the room, I analyze this, I analyze that. But he told me, do you analyze the cracks in the wall? I said, of course not. He says, why not? He says, it would help you remember a given incident. He says, analyze every little detail in every situation. If you have any UFO videos that you own the copyrights to, that you'd like the world to see, you know, to help with the proof getting out there, BruceWartz75, a commercial gmail.com is where you can send it. Please leave me a short description and a name if you'd like a name credited to you.